Welcome back to Practical Woodworking. Today I'm going to be making a wall mounted kitchen utensil rack. It's essentially a block of wood that has four pegs glued into it and you can hang either on the side of a cabinet or your wall. Now that we have the block closer to its final thickness, I'm going to take a quick measurement to figure out how much I have to take off. So we're at, we're at 0.877, two thousandths over seven eighths. Uh, like I said, I'm going to plane this down a three quarter inch and then I will cut it to its final thickness or final width. I'm sorry. Now that I have the thickness dialed in, I'm going to cut it to its final, final width. The first pass is going to be to true up one side. Uh, just because I planed the two faces, it doesn't mean that the two narrow doesn't mean that the two narrow sides are going to be perpendicular to the faces. So I'm going to true up one side, turn it around, and then cut it to its final thickness. Uh, in order to cut it down to its length, I'm going to use a cross-cut sled. Now that we have the block cut down to its final width, thickness, and length, the next step is going to be to uh, mark out the hole locations for the pegs. I screwed up the audio on the initial video of drilling the holes, uh, so I just have another blank, uh, blank piece of wood cut to the dimensions of the original blank, and I'm going to be just showing you guys how I went about drilling the holes. I have the whole centers marked out on their X and Y axis. I'm going to be setting up a temporary fence and that will set the Y axis for all four holes. And then the only thing I'll have to worry about is sliding the block along the X axis to drill each hole. In order to get to set your Y, uh, like I said, the block's two inches wide. So I want the center to be at one inch. I'm using an, a quarter inch drill bit. I'm going to be 
using the combination square essentially to set up my, my fence. I have the square locked in at an inch and an eighth. Uh, the reason I have it at that, the, the radius of a quarter inch drill bit is one eighth. So when I bring the drill down and lock it into place, I can butt the square up against the drill bit and that'll put the center at exactly one inch. And then all I have to do is just gently slide the fence to the end of the roller. You don't want to push too hard. I mean, it is a quarter inch bit, but you could still flex it and it'll be off a little bit. So you just want to be real gentle when you're setting this. Alright, so I have the Y set in at one inch. I'm going to do a test drill just to confirm my measurements. So if I set up the edge of the block at two inches, you can see the center of the hole is at one inch. So that's pretty good. That's lined up right where I want it. So now that the Y is set, I'm going to use a, a block, just a piece of scrap wood underneath my blank just to prevent tear out and I'll go ahead and drill these four holes. Now that the holes are drilled in the block, next step is going to be to cut the slots to actually hang this on the wall or cabinet. Uh, I'm using a keyhole slot cutter. It's this bit that's in the, the router right now. It has a 3 8 inch head and then the neck is 3 16 of an inch. What that'll do, it'll allow you to you'll plunge the router into the wood and then slide the router along a makeshift fence. That'll allow a 3 8 inch groove inside the block of wood and then on the face of the wood you'll have a 3 16 inch groove. Uh, and that way the screw head will be able to go into the block at the, the location where you plunge the router in and then it'll slide up into the groove and lock into place. I got the keyhole slots cut. That part of the video was cut a little short uh, in order for me to be able to see into the router. My head kind of blocked the view of the camera. Uh, this is essentially what they look like when they're done. You can see it's got a 3 8 inch hole where it plunged in and then the, the neck of it creates that 3 16 inch groove uh, and that allows you know your screw head to go in to the to the slot and then slide up and you can see it, it holds the screw head. 
And that's how you attach these, or anything you use a keyhole slot, that's how you attach it to a wall. Now that the keyhole slots are cut, the next thing I'm going to do is turn down the pegs that will be glued into the block. Uh, I, off camera I cut a half inch by half inch blank for a wooden dowel. I got the center marked on it. I'm going to chuck it up in the lathe and I'm going to turn it down to roughly a quarter inch diameter. Now that the pegs have been cut down to size, I did a dry fit just to make sure that the pegs fit. Uh, yeah, I don't want them to be too loose, obviously, but I also don't want them to be too snug. These fit pretty well. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to use a handheld router to route an edge along the face of the block. I'm going to sand rounded ends on each peg and I'm going to do a final glue up.
Here's what the rack looks like installed on the side of the cabinet. The one pictured is actually the first one that I made. I ended up using leather shoelaces to string through the utensils to hang from the pegs. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment. And if you like these videos, please subscribe.